Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite BlackBerry 10 devices that unfortunately came a little bit too late in the lineup and that is the BlackBerry Leap. So basically this is a BlackBerry Z10 inside of a larger body with a larger screen and a larger battery, a couple other different things. And I think that they should have let off with the Leap first as their all touchscreen phone instead of the Z10. Now of course, BlackBerry has made a lot of mistakes along the way, leading off with the Z10 instead of the Q10, having a physical keyboard phone first, which was kind of their bread and butter. I mean, history has not looked kindly or favorably on that like a lot of other decisions, but this is what we got first. And this is one of the last ones we got. And I wanna talk about this in this video, but before we get into that, I do wanna say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's talk about the Leap. So when you put the two of them side by side, the Z10 and the Leap, there's some major, major differences here. For one, the Z10 has an 1800 milliamp battery. It has a 4.2 inch screen. It's a tiny little phone, but it also has a replaceable battery, which was a very important characteristic with BlackBerry phones. It has been for a long time. People love the replaceable batteries. Well, the Leap took things a little bit farther. It's got a five inch screen instead of 4.2 inch screen. It's got a different housing on it. This dimpled plastic on the back, this rubberized plastic, actually, I think it looks better. And I never really cared for the back or the design of the Z10. I thought it looked kind of cheap, even though it was supposed to look premium. And then they came along with the more budget leap two years later, and then decided they were gonna put the exact same internals in it and call it a day. Well, I think that had they let off with the leap as their first all touch screen device, as opposed to the Z10, things would have been a lot better for them. The screen size really was important. And Samsung was pushing envelopes at the time with their note device. And the idea of this whole phablet phone thing was really like a new thing that had just started. When the Z10 came out, it was really kind of supposed to be like on par with the iPhone, which had a 3.5 inch screen back then. So yeah, it was definitely bigger, but it definitely wasn't something that was all that appealing. And the battery life was just terrible. 1800 milliamps just really was not enough, even though it had the Snapdragon S4 processor in it, two gigabytes of RAM, it just really didn't get you through the day. And back then, of course, a lot of smartphones didn't really get you through the day, so it was nice to be able to pop the back off, but they demonstrated very handily with the Z30, with a little bit of extra juice, you could get a lot farther, and of course it had a five inch screen too. Well, enter stage left, or leap in from stage left, we have the leap. And same exact specs as the Z10. 2 megapixel front facing camera, 8 megapixel on the back, LED flash, speaker on the back here, got the nice BlackBerry logo. And I really felt like this was one of the best phones that BlackBerry made in the BlackBerry 10 device lineup. It had great ergonomics, it had a great feel on it. It was really enjoyable to hold and type as well. The Z10 always felt kind of cramped. And then you look at the Z30, which had better hardware in it and it was a much better experience because of the additional power but at the same time, it was the best software typing experience you could get because you had the larger screen real estate. So we're not talking about new hardware and new specs and better performance with the Leap and the Z10. It's the same phone. They just put it in a different, bigger body. So I think that they missed out an opportunity to go big and put a larger screen in it because the technology was certainly there in the year 2013 when they came out with the phone, but everybody was kind of swinging and missing in that department and saying, oh, four inches is good, four inches is good. We'll go with the four inch screen. Had they put the Leap out first with the five inch screen, the 2800 milliamp battery, all the other same exact internals, I think it would have got a much more favorable response. And I think a lot more people would have been like, wow, this is really good looking. And it's funny to me because this was supposed to be their flagship lead off phone, the Z10 when it came out. And then the Leap was basically a refresh but I think that they made it look better. Like it really is a nice phone. And on top of that is great because you don't have to worry about a battery compartment. You can open up the side over here to get to the SD card slot and the SIM card slot. So and it's kind of funny the, the way that they approach this, trying to make a more budget, cheaper device just to get it out in people's hands for the you know deployment of the operating system and to get people on board with the phones. 
I think they ended up making a better phone. <laughs> <laughs> and even when this one came out, it was fine. Unfortunately, what killed BlackBerry was not the phones that they were making. It was more just the device strategy, the cost, and the whole BlackBerry Enterprise stuff. People were going away from that. They missed the boat on social media. They just really didn't get the support they needed from developers to build out BlackBerry 10. It was just too little too late by the time it came to the market. And of course, yes, BlackBerry has made a lot of, a lot of mistakes over the years but they've made some really good iconic devices that people really like. And the Leap is one that a lot of people really don't even know about. And it ended up to me being one of my most favorite BlackBerry 10 devices. And I just bought this like a year or two ago. I, was, I saw it and I got one brand new unboxed. I did the unboxing video a long time ago, but yeah, I wanted to get it, my hands on it. I wanted to test it out. And I ended up really liking the phone a lot. So I think some things we can draw from this is hopefully when we, comes to the new onward mobility device hopefully they have learned something from all of these different devices that blackberry's put out over the years hopefully for the new one they will go big they will swing for the fences they will do something to seriously wow and impress everybody so that hopefully we don't end up with a first device that we end up thinking that was the wrong one and when we get the new one hopefully it's something that will be a roadmap for success and people can look at it and go wow that's a really good phone they did a really good job with that. We really weren't expecting that. And they didn't try and fit the phone to the mold, but tried to break the mold and make something really, really trend setting and really, really dynamic. So just taking a look back down memory lane, I wanted to take a couple of minutes and talk about the Leap because some of you guys may not know about it. Some of you may, some of you may have had one. And I know a lot of people that really love this device, myself included. And yeah, if they could go back in time, I, I really wish that this one would have came out first. Of course, I wish they came out with a keyboard phone first. They should have come out with the Q10 of the Classic first and not the Z10, and then come out with the touchscreen. Clearly, people in the industry and in the consumer market wanted a touchscreen phone. I know where BlackBerry is going with it. Unfortunately, I think they missed the mark there. Or maybe if they'd come out with something like this first, which is more impressive than the Z10, maybe it would have been received better by the market and by you know the industry, as opposed to what happened with the Z10, which ultimately ended up a huge fire sale, did not sell well at all. So many of them got returned like it was bad. So anyway, that's all I've got in this video. Hopefully this has been an enjoyable video and a nice trip down memory lane for you. But that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.